17 inch lines, left hand DT is liquid hydrogen, that's how I remember left hand LH is liquid hydrogen, right hand <laughs> liquid <laughs> oxygen. All, 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 all that other time I just go, the thing, okay, feed line down, oxygen. <laughs> so more pins for a little more. Yeah. And the um, so the the um, so the propellant in the propellant right. line and then is, is that the umbilical like that the electrical or is, yeah that's your umbilical and there's a camera in there too somewhere I think right there. oh yeah this is where the this is the side where the ET camera is it yeah from the back ah uh, this is Jack Cruella. Yeah, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Chris Gabbard. Chris and Larry. Nice to meet you. Yep. Jack's going to explain the whole app. Uh, Watch your step down here. Okay. Yeah. This is the back end of the ship. This is the back end of the ship. This is what we call it. Yeah. All the yellow stuff that you see are actually platforms. Okay. Then there's the lay on, neon, on, angle, whatever. You put a contract to work on it. Wow. All the different color feed lines that you see are just protective covers. They're real private lines and they're being on and hanging over and stuff. Right. Two yellow things are actuators. They're the ones that actually move the engine to the back and forth. Okay. I'll yeah. I'll put down on my go vertical. Right. Those are the pistons that actually control the engine. Back okay. The controlling so where do, where, do, where do the engines actually bolt in? They actually bolt in around the feed line here. Okay. And then those feed bolts right there. The center of the white cap on the top of the left. Okay. 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 Wow. Uh, and what are the uh, what are the red the red balls? Those are helium. Helium. We got two on this side, two on that side. Okay. Designing all this wow. is the actual manifold. We got one manifold up top here. We got a tiny manifold. Okay. Two on top of the end of the area. Okay. Yeah. And then this one is the low point. All three designed to be yellow. Liquid oxygen from the right hand side. Okay. Cool. Wow. And all those gray lines you see are actually purged. We purged the aft department where we feel that we purged the payload there, and we also have lines that all the way to the forward to purge the forward. Okay. With uh, breathing air. Cool. And so the, the T0 umbilicals on either side. Yes. This is the, uh, the right hand O2 umbilical. Oh, okay. Zero, and then you have the left hand uh, LH2 umbilical. Oh, okay. So, so which one? Which one of the three? Um, uh, when it's connected to the pad, it would be the one that that. It would be the same way. The top one's the app, the middle one's the payload, and the bottom one's the forward. Okay. Cool. And then the propellant intake is behind them. Yes. Okay. Behind the wall, that gray line is right there. Oh, the gray, the gray intake line, the gray, the gray tube there. Okay. This is liquid oxygen on this side and hydrogen on the other side. And what you need is right there where that space engine will be. But we've right. already removed it. And all those connectors that you see there, they're the interface that the, uh, the ship to the to the right hand. Okay. Those connectors there that you see dangling in that hole right there. Yeah. 13 connectors per engine. Uh, basically, the ship talks to the engine. Okay. Yeah, and all, all, all of these are just wires and... Yeah, all these back runs that you see are just wire runs. We have uh, three redundant systems on board. Like the three APUs. Mm -hmm. You need two APUs to come home. Right. right. So if you lose one, you actually got the other two to fall back on. Right. Uh, no. One good thing about the flying machine is that plenty of redundancy. Lots of redundancy. It is the safest vehicle we have that can carry out and off up. We we work for our NASA space like dot com, so we're, we are we focus on the technical aspect. Oh my god. Of all this. I mean this is just I've seen pictures yes. of the app, but you know you gotta, you gotta be pretty flexible to work in the app. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
you know, I'm electrical mechanical. I've done splicing pretty much depending on my head. In some areas, it's the only way you can get in there. Yeah. And in really. some areas, you're lucky and splicing in areas that like right there bunny. Yeah. So, can 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 you see one of the APUs from here, or are they? Well, you can see a, a hydraulic pump. There's two lines. They're pretty much hanging on the, the, the front wall where you have to park. Okay. It's just a one, two, and three. Right. And you've got your hydraulic air that rolls up there on the wall. Okay. Watch the door that goes over your head. Uh, oh. Oh, that's where they are. You can see all these guns. You just down. Yeah. Down to this edge right here with the red underneath. Right. You've got two. Very good. All right. Look at two on this side. Okay. And you got one on one side. Okay. Okay. And uh, so down here, the the green box with the two black ones attached to it. Yeah, that's the flash evaporator. But, oh, oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I always thought that was in the payload bay. Yeah. <laughs> I said it was right. Right. Okay. You guys are actually the two. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Plenty after. Very nice meeting nice you, sir. Take yes. care. Thank you. I'll say thank you, and I'll hear everything you said on the video. So. There you go. Yes. <laughs> yeah. See, I get to take the video home. He may not see it again. Oh, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> the drain field, they load all the fuel at the, at the, at the BAD, at the pad. Yeah, so right, right. Um, watch your step. Yeah. And then here, here's some light caps. We're going to talk about the light caps. We'll put your TVs there. Load them up. And, of course, this is access into the aft compartment. You can see the oh. platform with ladders to get down, all that. That's as the, the where they attach it to the crane, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ohms where the ohms pod would go, and then that's the T zero umbilical. There's right? T zero umbilical. Free on mm -hmm. Nice. So you won't let it crawl around. No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could. Yeah. Of course, it's you know we did lose some guys early on. Climbing in there, yeah. bad. Before they drop the hydrogen, that's still the hydrogen. Lost, and lost. 